Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Surviving Mars. Hope you're having a great day today. Let me just go ahead and pause this dome really quick while I Resources are low. examine the situation. Yeah, we're low on concrete now. I uh, made a boo-boo. I started making this dome and uh, totally didn't pay attention to concrete. All right, so we're extracting concrete from here now with an amplified concrete extractor. I gave in. Uh, it's something I just got to do. We're totally giving it this skin, though, because it looks awesome. It looks way less effective. Way less. This looks more effective, but I'm going to leave it like this. Um, so we've got this. Now, I've got a new dome going down in here. Right? Let me just kind of explain what's happening, because we're going to be shifting things again. All right. This farm is currently producing uh, some pretty good food. We're up to 51 food now. Plenty of time. These, these farms are, are, are doing really well. And we also have research now with a breakthrough that makes this Martian diet. So, you know, they're going to consume less food anyway. That's going to be sweet. We're almost done with triboelectric scrubbing, but then I'm going to start on education. We need to start getting specialists, okay? And um, how that's going to work is I'm going to end up having a university right in here, okay? The residents that are living in here are going to be... Ed this is like an education facility, okay? Comfort and education, sure. But we've got a lot of kids living in here. And they're all of them. Like, this school is packed. I love that the school is packed. But there's a bit of an overflow into the residence and the, into the apartments here. I may need another apartment. Or I may replace this with another apartment complex. We'll see. This farm is not going to stay here. It's going to go over here. This farm is also not going to stay here. It's going to eventually go over here. This is going to be our farming dome. Okay? It's also going to be a place where seniors live and renegades live. And there's going to be things inside this dome that renegades can't necessarily break. Okay? But we're going to we're going to farm in here. Now, I don't know if this really matters, like having renegades live in here or not. I don't know if that really matters, but the way I see it is this dome in the vicinity of this dome there's nothing to produce. There's no resources, no real job potentials necessarily. Uh I might put some polymers uh, I might put another polymers factory here because we're starting to use them. But other than that, there's not really a lot of prospects. To where this right here, you know, we got metals in the area. This over here, of course, we got the rare metals in the area. And I'm going to want people to work that. This over here has got this, right? And um, just in general, we need a place, like a central location for that. So I'm going to have food made here. We're probably going to have three farms, an apartment complex. And then maybe like an open air gym, a grocer, and like the bare essentials and some parks. Make it as comfortable as we can. And then when I get the spire for water conservation, I can pop that in here too. And it'll hit all three of these farms really nicely. But that's that's the plan. Because I want these buildings to be more specialized in purpose towards things. See, renegades are stealing things. All right. I don't like that. I don't like them stealing. All right. We got Aladdin over here stealing an apple. I guess he stole. What did he steal? What did Aladdin steal? It wasn't an apple, was it? I'm trying to think back to my knowledge of Disney movies. I don't even know. Uh, we got a, uh, a big old meteor shower happening right here. Thankfully not on top of us. So that's good. Uh, Resources are low. Harry's over here researching this, trying to see what kind of anomaly we can get. But we're so close. The tribal electric scrubbing. We're, we're basically at one hour left. So we're going to take the 26 electronics we have, and that's going to start our process into uh, scrubbing this stuff. Probably put a scrubber right here. That'll cover this whole area, and hopefully we can get the center of this dome. And then we'll also put one over here, and that will hopefully get the center of this dome as well as all this stuff. And then one more right here, which will hopefully get the center of this dome and all this stuff. And then one more right here, uh, which will hopefully get the center of this dome and this stuff. And then at that point, our maintenance is very, very low, um, pending any catastrophe. And we could really start to ramp up resources at that point. Martian Tribune. A new oracle takes the helm as Rocket Cosmos steps in to assume the recently vacated role of Oracle. We can hope that they get their bearings in short order. We here at the Martian Tribune will keep you appraised of any decrees and, and movements of the Oracle. A new day is dawning here on Mars. The question remains, however, is that day of dawning 
or a day of darkness. Our fate is in your hands, Oracle. Don't let us down. Okay. Thank you very much for that. Research complete. Tribal electric scrubbing is done. It takes five electronics to make a scrubber. Okay. We're going to start our education right now. And then um, I think after education, we will then go to Martian born adaptability. Uh, ooh, look at this. Arcology. There it is. Ooh, that's a good one, too. Oh, I do like arcology a lot. Very comfortable. Very comfortable living for people. Martian festivals. That's nice. Increased service comfort for decorations. And then deep water extraction. Oh, there it is. There it is. Oh, yes. Uh, pop that on the schedule, please. Uh, let's put that at the top and then... We'll go, uh, uh, I don't know. Where did it go? Uh, I want, uh, Martian education. Where the heck did it go? Not physics, is it? It's over here. It's social, isn't it? Yeah, right there. All right. We're going to get this going, too. Honestly, I feel like going for this first, but it's really expensive. And getting, you know, education going is more important. So I think we're going to pass on that for the time being. But, oh, my God, that's awesome. Uh, okay, so we're I'm trying to stock some some concrete. We're not able to get this very fast because of the very poor grade. So very low grade. We're only we're not able to get it very quickly. We're only getting about 15 per soul is what it says. But we do want that running 24/7. Uh, I guess that's 25/7, isn't it? Is it still seven days in a week on Mars? And you know. I think we're okay here. I'm, I'm pausing this so we can stock up a little concrete because a lot of our structures need concrete for maintenance. And I don't want to like rob them of their maintenance cycle just to build this dome. Anomaly analyzed. There's more to the Martian born strength in meteor defense it. system. Hey, hey, that's pretty cool. Uh, Martian born strength is nice though. They don't take sanity damage from disasters. Very good. There's so much cool stuff happening here, guys. But I do want to get this stuff, though, right? Like, I do want to get forestation started. I definitely want to get to the carbonate processor. We, we just don't have the machine parts to maintain any of that stuff right now. Uh, so let me get, since we have it, let me get our electronics factory started. And this is a full-on, I think I want the small one, actually, because we don't have a whole lot of rare metals yet. Since we don't have the rare metals yet, I think, yeah, this is definitely better to go do the small one. And maybe I fit this in right here. There's people here and they could work this. Um, we could put it right here. But this is like, I have to tear this down later though. Yuck, I don't want to do that. Might be something I have to tear down. We could put it right here. Um, let's stick it right here. It's a small electronics factory. Right in this little spot here. And then we could start using the rare the uh, rare metals that we have to start producing additional, additional electronics. In the meantime, let us get our first two scrubbers. So I want it placed, I think, right here. I love that this only takes one single tile of space. My favorite part about this. I need to make sure it's close enough to get the center of the dome. I want to say... Th oh, this is definitely close enough. This just gets everything, man. Uh, yes. I think so. I, I think this is close enough, too, though. It's a bit of a gamble. Resources are low. I'm going to put it here first. Um, you, can, you can expand this and make it bigger. But I think when I expand this, this little dot here needs to touch this tile. If, as long as it does, then this dome no longer needs maintenance. Um, but I'm hoping that by placing it here, I can get every single one of these wind turbines. And then they none of them needs maintenance either. And that's huge. All right, we're talking machine parts maintenance here. Right now, it says we're using 1.9 a day. I mean, we're talking about this is 0.5. So it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 six and a half machine parts per maintenance cycle not to mention also the ghg factory will get hit by this and um you know all the metals and stuff we're saving here too that'll be sweet uh, and then we can also open up 
the sterling generators for additional power if we need to and not have to worry about maintenance on those so then we'll expand this to its full capacity it's going to need power let's make sure we also have that going in it's right next to the battery can it just connect to the battery i mean i'm putting it right next to the battery it's got to just connect to that right i feel like that's fair if it does that where's the metal one additional metal guys come on <laughs> just one additional metal Man, we're sucking down the concrete bad, aren't we? We are just... Like, I can't save any. This is... It's, too, it's just so slow. It'd really be nice to have access to another one. I probably will have to use my... Now that we're kind of staying in this zone a little longer, though, maybe I should use my drone hub to gain access to it, to another one. There's just no concrete over here. Like, all of the concrete is just like, right here, right here. Uh, there's, like, this whole side's got a lot. This side's got, like, nothing. Whoops. I'm not sure what I'm going to do about that. There's got to be a long-term solution to that. I just don't know it yet. Do -do 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 -do. All right, this is done. Let's expand the service area. And it does not. Oh, it doesn't. Oh, it feels bad, man. It doesn't get all these either. Did they? Did they nerf this? I mean, I'm okay if they did. This is a really broken uh, object. But I'm wondering if they nerfed this. They might have. Uh, okay. So this scrubber here needs to go in range of the other scrubber. So that'll be like right here. Yep, right here. And uh, that will hopefully expand to get this. Ooh, this will be good too, right here. Yeah, 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 right here. It says there's no cable connection, but okay, no problem. We'll just kind of go like that with it. No big deal. And then this is going to need to be moved. I, I guess I don't need to move it because if it's getting scrubbed... I, I think it'll offset. I think it'll... Um, this one scrubbing this one, I think is fast enough to where it won't need maintenance. But even if it does later, kind of whatever. You no. Know? Ooh, I have to have one scrubber's worth of maintenance. Big deal. But now these never need maintenance again. These ones right here. But I'm hoping to tick with this one. I'm hoping we get that. It's got to be close, right? It's got to. And then I'm hoping that we also get both of these so we don't have to maintain them anymore either. If we don't have to maintain this battery, I'm just going to leave it. Because at least it's extra output uh, ability. I mean, it's, it's here. If it's no reason to tear it down, I guess. Uh, and then on the other side, we could put one more. We got, well, how much? 11 electronics left. So on one side, we can put here. And let's say we go... I want to go closer. This one can go right here. And it will get... See, it won't get this stuff, though. I want to get that stuff. Uh, eh. That's not as beneficial as the other one. I want to get over here. Maybe we build two more up, but on this side. So I could build one that's like next to this dome like this. And then it expands to cover all of these. And then another one comes here and it expands out. And they, as long as they cover each other, right? Maybe that's how we do this. Like this won't cover, this won't be covered by these. But if I put another one over here, then it will. We'll see. At least let's just get this one done now. Okay, we're tapping the middle of this, so I'm hoping that that works. Um, we're also getting this now, and we're getting this with this position. So, these two are going to scrub each other, and therefore they will also never need maintenance. So, if we watch this, just to confirm, right now this has 17% deterioration. And so, as soon as we see this one go off, 
the scrubber. As soon as this scrubber goes off, like it, like it is right now, we should see the deterioration on this drops, and it does. It's now down to zero. So these two are going to scrub each other, and they'll never need maintenance. Oh, it's so good. Uh, we can do one more. And I, I do want to get all of the power. So uh, is there a way to just... Ooh, you can fit in right here. That's kind of dirty. I like this, though. It's a pretty good spot, actually. Yeah. I can fit you right here. And then with that being fit in, I can now actually go ahead and get additional wind turbines there there and also like we'll build another one like right here and that will cater to the power needs we have on our entire facility as well so let's make this the big priority and we'll get the three scrubbers in and this this whole area is now maintenance free oh it's so good oh so it feels so good all right i'm 19 concrete let's finish this dome and you know curiosity i really don't know where i want to put you i haven't decided I don't, I don't know. You know, like, I, I don't have a, a, a mission objective for you at the moment. All right, let's get... Um, let's say that this is a very important place to work. And we're going to take the priority off of the farm and cut, let's say, three of the jobs for it. So that we'll hopefully get people working here instead. Yep, there we go. And now they can use the rare metals to produce here right and then uh we'll go ahead and amplify this mm, not yet actually we'll belay that because we're gonna run out of rare metals until we can actually use it so i'm not even gonna need to work them heavy honestly but at least we can make more Resources electronics now alive. and that means making more scrubbers that's what that means scrubbers are too good here we go and ramp it up Beautiful. Look at that. Oh, it, co it even covers this, too. All three of these are covering each other. So now this one doesn't matter. The fact that this one is in range of this no longer matters. Because this one's actually going to get scrubbed by both of these. That's beautiful. And now my entire power system on this side is completely covered by scrubbers. So all we basically need is to build one. And we have that power pretty much perpetually forever. Unless, of course, a meteor comes in and smacks us. Which, like, this is not... That's, that's not what that means. This one has a really deep deposit of uh, metals. That's pretty nice. Um, I'm not seeing any really deep deposits anywhere useful in this area. We really should scan up here to see what's up there. Uh, oh, no. What's going on? There's so many meteors right here. Meteor Storm has got... 10 hours left. It's pretty close. But it didn't quite get us. But it's like right on our back door. Man, I wish I could do... Concrete is the next thing. You know? That's the next problem to solve, is concrete. And... If we head down physics far enough... I mean, we're almost at the bottom of the physics tree. Isn't the mohole in the physics tree... <laughs> Molehole's pretty broken, but I'm uh, I'm up for it. <laughs> or uh, I I need the thing that makes like infinite concrete from the ground. That'd be cool too. Smart homes. Eh. No, just education, please. So do we send this back? Send it back with nothing. With nothing to do. Hey, what's the what time of day is it? It's pretty late, actually. Why don't we send this with colonists? Here. We can get some resources with these guys. Go. Send some colonists out that way. It's nighttime, or it's getting closer to the evening now. Meteor incoming. That's okay. Wait. No, it's not. Harry, move. Harry, move. Harry, move. Go. Harry, go. Move out of the way, Harry. Okay, he, he made it. Uh, Harry, speaking of which, you should probably just come back to home. Come back home. You don't need to be out there. Timmy is done moving his materials up to this side. That's nice. Um, there's actually a lot more stuff to move, though. So if you could maybe start on, say, this area and bring that up here, too. A lot of stuff to do there. Uh, 
no life support and dome. Okay, this dome is done. So I can't pause. I tried to pause. Can't pause. What I want to do is I want to get passages started. We're going to start with this side. And um, we're just going to go about like, uh, maybe we zigzag around these. Kind of cool. I have to make sure I can ramp it though. I'm not sure I can there if I do that. I can do it if I do this though. So let's let's do that, and then um, we'll want the passage ramp to be uh, here, which we can't because we have to do it over a completed passage. But this will be our first passage to this. And uh, then on this side, we're gonna build another passage, which again is it's like heavy concrete, but we're gonna build another passage that brings us. I kind of wanted it to be here, but I guess it'll be here. So those will be the two passages that connect everything. And then we'll have two ramps. And then all of this is like enclosed now, which is kind of nifty. The new guys, your attention is required. Yeah. Somewhat late into the space race, a new Mars mission has been announced out of the blue. Looking over the basic parameters of the mission, which have been made public, you quickly come to the conclusion that their plans have significant flaws. From a position of experience, you have a chance to influence how this new colony will fare. <laughs> they have no chance. Send a team of experts to help. Send 10 experienced colonists to help the colony out. Or wish them luck, they're gonna need it. The new colony fails to establish a solid foothold on Mars. Hmm. I'm not sure how <sighs> sending 10 people, it's pretty temporary. I think it's temporary. If it's not temporary, that sucks. And I don't know if it's temporary. But if I help them, we might get something out of it. Like maybe even some of them will come to join us. I forget how this mission goes, but I think there's a really positive thing that, that comes out of sending 10 people to come and help them. It's just that I don't have 10 people to spare right now because I really need to have everybody working on things. So I'm going to have to say wish the block. I wish I wish them the best. But I don't know if that's permanent. If it's not permanent, then that sucks. But I'm trying to remember like how those how those go. I, I, I want to say that that one. How come these aren't being? Oh, they take concrete to build. Anomaly. Analyze. Yeah, that sucks. Gain 33. Oh, what anomaly did we analyze? 33 polymers. Was that the... Oh, it's just resources. Right, yeah, yeah, okay. 33 polymers is pretty nice. We can build another battery on that, which we should, because we have more domes, and our power output is uh, lacking. And we can put one, like, maybe over here. Maybe put the accumulator there. Which also takes concrete. It's kind of It's kind of sucks. All right, life support systems. I want farms, which take concrete to make. Yep, but I want farms one, two, and three. This is where we're gonna build these. And this will be our farming center. I need to see whether I have other spires. It's this one I want. I need to research that. But yeah, water reclamation system would be nice for this dome because then it uses a lot less water. And then, uh, of course, we're going to want homes here, too. Let's put in a... Uh, we'll put in a... I don't think we need a grocer. Because they can always go over here and use the grocers that are here. Uh, you can see we'll have a... I had two grocers here. Oh, I wonder what happened to it. I must have deleted it. When I was messing with this area, I bet I deleted it by accident. Put a grocer there, and then um, maybe we can even do another one. Like right here next to this. That's fine. Or we can just leave this one out. Let's leave that one out and just put it here only. But again, it takes concrete to build these things, and it's just like we have none. So we're going to need to go on a concrete hunting expedition. That's our next big task is where to get and how to get concrete and it's probably gonna have to come from over here i think in, i'm thinking so 
I'm thinking we go like I'm thinking we have to go like this. We can build this. Let's say right on the edge of this. Is that not gonna work? Uneven terrain. Another crowd resource nearby. Too far from drone, right here. This will let us work this whole thing. And then uh, what we can do is we would run power out that way. I don't think we will, actually. I don't think we will. I think instead we're just gonna put solar panels up and let this work during the day and not work during the night. I think that's how we're gonna do it instead. Um, we'll put a couple of solar panels. This will take five power, right? So we can probably get away with uh, just one. I think we get away with one one solar panel, like right here. Something like that, just off, just off this. I think. Oh, it won't let me, right here. That's fine. And then uh, we can put in a power cable like this. And we basically just let this thing run only during the, the day. If we send the Curiosity down and make it land like right here, it'll be really hard to refuel it, but at least we can we can act. Mm, damn, I don't know. Because like having it land over here means I get to have drones always looking at it. I wish they would let me land right here. Landing here is okay. Landing here is okay, I think. We have enough room to land here. It'd be really hard to refuel it, but we can just bring fuel to it, I think. The only other answer is to bring the RC commander here. And then we have to land the rocket over here, which I guess is a little better to, to connect with the RC commander. So like if I bring the commander all the way over here, Right, and now I need Timmy to come over here too. So Timmy, report to actually don't report this side. Um, well, you're gonna have to report this side. Yeah, you have. Yeah, you're loaded up with metals. That's good. Um, so let's bring Timmy all the way back over here, and we're gonna have to have him help us in extracting this. We're gonna have a, a little transport route with Timmy back and forth to get the resources. But then we still need drones to maintain this, and that's where we'll move our RC commander. Yeah, it's going to have to be that way. Uh, I think this time we'll land the rocket here. I think it's area will... Hmm. I need the area to cross, though. And I can't tell what its command range is. I want to say this is good enough, but I don't think it is. So I'm going to need to use the drone hub. The drone hub here will take care of this whole area, and then we'll have this, and then we'll have... It's just... It's so much to build for just that one thing, but it seems like... It seems like that's our only chance. Unless I'm doing it down here. The difference is, any type of infrastructure I build down here can at least be usable later when we try to extract this. Potentially, I guess. I don't know if we're extracting that or not. The rocket really doesn't need to land. Well, it does. It's got 10 passengers. I need it to land. We're gonna we're gonna land it here anyway. It has ten it has ten passengers. I forgot about that. Wow, wait, do we have sixty two? We have sixty two colonists without the ten passengers on board. Oh dear, I didn't I didn't. Do we actually have more than this? We do. Oh good lord. That's cool. I didn't realize we had that many people. I probably could have afforded to do that then, shouldn't I? Oh no. We can have this uh, work two shifts if you want to. Uh, we are running, we're gonna run out of rare metals, but at least we'll make the prerequisite electronics, I think. Yeah, we gotta do something about this, guys. Uh, I think I'm gonna have to use the drone hub. I don't want to, but I'm gonna have to, I think. Nash Commander. Park yourself right here. And your service area is this whole area. Let's move you as far this way as we can. Does this work? Yeah, this will work. Uh, and then I want you to have, we're gonna have a storage unit for dumping Research the waste rock complete. here and here for now. Martian education is done. It takes concrete to build this structure and it takes 15 electronics. 
So we gotta we gotta move on the electronics here. So let's have them work in double time. And uh, it's only what two? It's only two polymers. Let's amplify it so we can get the electronics going in. We have we're gonna start banking machine parts now, which is perfect. And because uh, scrubbers scrubber life is real, scrubber life is awesome. Um, and then so with this stuff up, it'll just basically be Nash Commander. Nash Commander. If you're wondering why I'm saying it that way instead of Commander Nash, it's uh, it's a reference to Mass Effect, a character named Legion. If that doesn't ring a bell, then uh, don't worry about it. It's fine. <laughs> How much does it cost to make these? Five of them. So I can make one more, and that would satisfy... I think this is scrubbed. Yep. This is in range, too. That's beautiful. That's that's more machine parts in range. This polymers isn't being helped. Um, we actually have a little bit of a deficit at night for power, but I can open this, and it will be scrubbed all the time. So we'll just open that up now because we can. We can open this one up, too, because we can. So there we go. Yeah, this, this concrete thing is... The, this is the worst. Maybe I will just send the rocket back home. What does it cost me? Concrete costs $45 million for five. So at most, I can send back 15 concrete. I feel like that's not worth it. But uh, I, I don't have anything else to spend my money on right now. <laughs> Where is... Where's Timmy? Timmy, come on, dude. Let's go. I realize Mars is a big place, but I need you, buddy. We're going to have to bring... Uh, what do I need to bring? I need to bring two machine parts, five metals. three. So I need eight metals and two machine parts. And then I can get this working. And then um, I need to set up a transport route with Timmy then to move the... Uh, Actually, here's what we'll do. We'll uh, uh, we'll put a Universal Depot. No, it's not Rig good enough. Dust storm approaching. It's probably good enough, but um, yeah, I'm gonna do it anyway because it's definitely good enough. We're gonna put a Universal Depot here. This should be fine. And then what we'll do is we'll have. Um, I don't want it to say two, but yeah, at least two. Um, we need metals here for maintenance, maintenance on this, and we need machine parts for maintenance on this. So we'll have at least two of every resource, but we're going to make sure that it's just these resources, two of these two resources, and then we'll have an extra depot for, dedicated for the concrete, which will be on this side so that Timmy doesn't have to run so far. I'm not even entirely sure he can. I'm not even entirely sure he can move on this. He may need to go all the way around, which would suck. But if that's the case, then I guess we'll learn about it sooner or later. Let's see if he can actually. We're gonna get a great dust storm, which is perfectly fine with me, because all the scrubbers are scrubbing each other. Honestly, with three, the triangle of scrubbers, I don't think we're gonna need maintenance on any of this stuff. I think the scrubbers will be fine. A great dust storm usually hits pretty hard to where the scrubbers will still need maintenance during them, but with three of them at it, I think we're fine. Now it's just a matter of getting enough electronics to actually, you know, support this. Uh, we're short on water? Well, domes have a base water usage, that's why. Let's go ahead and get... God, I'd like to get this... 24 and 36. Yikes. Concrete. Timmy. I want you to do two things. I want you to drop off your resources first. But not all of them. Uh, this is a good amount, actually. You go ahead and keep the 15 you have. I want you to pick up... Let's pick up uh, machine parts here. If you can. 
He can't reach that. Timmy can't reach it. Yeah, it's too far away for it. It's like, it's cramped in here. So I'm gonna need a drone's help to do that. Um, that's an issue. That's a, that's a bit of an issue, actually. Um, how about we uh, say no on the machine parts here, and instead we will bring it out like this, and we'll say, hey, can you have at least three uh, machine parts and polymers and food and like not even food, just at least three of all these things here instead. That's that's good. And we can bring this down maybe to even two. We don't need rare metals here actually. Uh, polymers, electronics, we don't even need here, I don't think. Yeah, because we want to maintain this. So, and actually we'll need to maintain this very soon, so. But if we can maybe get, yeah, yeah, like this. All right, give two machine parts. Timmy, go ahead and grab two. That's good. And then um, I want you to grab, uh, I think you need, what is it, metals? Yeah, it's just metals. I believe. So bring, where in the world? Over here. Okay, you do have to, you do have to drive all the way around. Oh, that sucks. Okay, we, we can, we can work with that. We can work with that. So we want this depot then to not be here. We want Nash Commander to head this way. We want all of this stuff to go away. We don't need these anymore. And we want the dumping sites to instead be, let's say, um, we can put it here and probably another one right there. Then we can put the universal depot that we need uh, on this side there. And then the concrete depot can be like over here. And then this one is uh, at least three, no two of these materials. Resources are low. Yeah, machine parts and, ma and metals. And we'll just have at least Let's say at least one, I don't know. But now Nash can be over here like this, almost right there. That should get everything in range. Looks like it, yep. So Nash can just stay right here with his two drones. And then what we'll do is we'll have you dump all your resources off right here. And then these two drones will just sort of go to town on this whole thing. Oh, please don't do that. Can you, can you? Yeah, do this instead. Please don't do that. The idea is that we store things here later, not now. And then, um, there you go. Okay, so that stuff gets built now. And then, Timmy, what you're going to do eventually is you're going to have a transport route that takes you and says, Get, gather all concrete and bring it. And then we might actually want to give one more drone to Nash just so this process is a little bit more smooth. Uh, and then I think I'm going to switch out the solar panel, actually. Um, mm, gosh, I have so much spare power. I just don't want to create additional problems on the grid. Let's have you stop this construction for the time being. Yeah, build this instead. Um, it's going to be closed when it's done. But... We'll have this starting at night, or we'll have this, let's build this for the morning instead of, you know. Yeah. Instead of having it uh, finish at night when it can't be used, because it won't have the power. And then we could just, um, I was gonna put a wind turbine instead, but I think that's uh, not a good idea anymore. This will be way faster once we have shuttles. Okay, go ahead and turn that on. Get that stuff working. Can you guys build it? Guys, you, build this. Build it. There we go, okay. So we're gonna start having concrete and you know, Nash's drones will maintain the supply, maintain the maintenance, do all those types of things. Um, Timmy's going to have a route that takes him around, but first I'm going to deliver, I think probably we've got enough to maintain the solar panels for five cycles. It's pretty nice. Um, we're going to have Timmy, I think bring maybe two or three. Let's bring, let's get all three of these. 
machine parts, actually. And we'll have Timmy bring them all the way over here. And just drop them off. And again, these drones can just handle this. Three drones, I think, is enough to do this. The idea, they just need to be able to empty this out faster than it's being filled. Which I'm starting to think they can't do. Um, it may be a good idea to potentially move these a little bit closer. I think for now, I'm just going to give them one more drone. All right, so Timmy's got the machine parts. Let's have you load up a two, like one more. And then I think I want a little bit more metals too. Okay, now bring those over here. And we're going to drop them off. Where the hell did it go? Right there. I'm going to drop them off right here. So these are on standby so that these guys can maintain and then the concrete will start coming in and we'll need to transport the concrete out of here and over to the other uh, the other place. So again, that's going to be what Timmy does. That's his only task. So I want you to take concrete. Well, I could probably go with... No, it's just, just the concrete. I want you to take concrete from this area and transfer it over to... Um, we can just have you dump it over here in this general area where they can be used. Yeah, so that's what Timmy's going to do. That's our extra concrete supply. And then these guys are... This doesn't run at night. Yeah. I think maybe we should, we should swap this out. I think I'm going to swap this out for a wind turbine instead. I, I would like this to run all the time because... This is just going to be extra maintenance if I don't do it that way. Um, what we can do instead is put the wind turbine here. So it's a little closer for these guys to manage. Because I would probably should have done that before anyway. Um, we will we'll use the metal from that to build this line. This requires concrete, which we don't have anymore because we took it away. Well, I mean, yeah, no, we don't have it anymore. We took it away. I'll have to bring it back and then the one machine part that's here. Um, so where's Timmy? Yeah, Timmy, can you bring that concrete back? I'm sorry, dude. <laughs> bring the concrete back, please. All the way back here. Yep, it's a thing. Yeah, and just, just drop it off. I don't think, you don't need to drop it all off. Just, just a little bit. Like that should be enough, right? Because it's, uh, we need four. How much do I, I don't know if I dropped off four. You know what, just drop off one extra. You're gonna pick it back up if they don't use it anyway. Whatever, okay, that's enough. So off we go. And I, again, I want you to drop off your payload over here so that we can use that concrete for maintenance. Of course, we're, you know, we're still producing here too. What? Oh no, the drones, right? They're not in the air anymore. Do I really need to? Uh, I need to, don't I? Freaking fine. Whatever. I think it's at the point where I just want to do it. Uh, I hate that I have to. I don't want to do it, but I, I think I'm going to. Whatever. We're going to we're gonna put a freaking drone hub here, I guess. Do I, I don't want to. <laughs> I don't want to. But now that, now that freaking, yeah, I mean, we need that mobile and this needs to be set and it's, ugh. This will cover all of it, right? This covers all of it. We can put it over here. Whatever. Because it, it, I want to cover the other one too. I want these to cross a little bit. Cover each other in case of accidents. Fine. We'll put the stupid prefab right here. Ugh. I don't want to. <laughs> I was delaying this so bad. Because I wanted to put it somewhere else, but I'll just build another one. Whatever. Welcome, drones. Good to see you. I guess you all get to just do whatever you want now. All right, Timmy, here's your new job. This is running 24-7 now. Yep. We could amplify it too, and we probably should. I'm going to I'm gonna amplify this as well. Um, that's going to make it take 10 more power though. 
we are producing 11.9 power. So that will need more. Hmm. I guess we won't amplify. Plus 10 power. I'd have to put another one of these. Two of these means more maintenance. And now we have, of course, the big dust storm as well. So even more machine part maintenance here. Uh, hang on. I gotta adjust the leak now. Where is it? I think it's already being worked on. Yeah, I think it's being worked on already. Yeah, it is. Okay. Uh, let's see. And there's gonna be a lot more leaks, too, because the Great Dust Storm does that. See these buildings? They can't be maintained. Oh my god, they're full. We're so... F we are so full. Oh no, we're so full. <laughs> we have so many people. Well, our people problem is totally solved, guys. The people problem has been taken care of. You'll be happy to know the people problem is no longer a problem. This is a pretty comfortable dome already. I'm going to go ahead and uh, add more. We're going to have some temporary homelessness while I build an apartment here instead. Hmm. Yeah. Did we get the university? We did, right? I was just waiting on the... Oh, where the hell is it? I was waiting on the uh, electronics to build it. Damn. I just can't click things, can I? Uh, Martian University is here. It takes 15 of these suckers. And three for maintenance. Yikes. It's it, it, The problem is, is that it's worth it. The hardest problem, though, is that we still cannot access that stuff. So we need to get to the deep resource extraction, which I believe is our current... Deep metal extraction is our current objective. 42 souls. Okay, I think we can last 42 souls on what we have. And I'm going to take the risk on that by going ahead and putting you Martian University in right here. Are low. This is now a learning place, Okay is now a place of learning. Uh, okay. It says we're low on storage. Oh, boy. Well, uh, well, the dust storm is taking offline all of our va vaporators. And our moxie can't work. And this is three souls. We can last one soul and two souls. Okay. Okay. This is a problem. This is a problem. And it's a problem that we will s solve uh, next time. Because <laughs> the video is getting long and I'm going to leave you with a cliffhanger. So we're going to have a day without food. That's going to, or sorry, a day without, it's not oxygen, right? It looks like it's going to be about four hours without oxygen, thankfully. Um, but we are going to have like a whole day without water. That's a problem. We can mitigate that by shutting off all the farms. That will pretty much help us with our water shortage problem, I think. Just shut off the farm temporarily. And that should extend our water supply. Um, is there any way we could extend it even further? Yes, fuel. Ditch the fuel refineries. And we should help our water problems just by that. Yep, now we're good on water. Um, two souls, eight hours. I, I can't help the oxygen problem. I, I can't help that. That's just something that's going to have to be a thing. So we're going to last about six hours without oxygen. But at least we can shut down the refineries. We're not going to make any more fuel. We have way more than we need anyway. Um, we could probably shut them off for 100 souls at this point right now. Uh, yeah, and then we don't have a power problem at all, so at least I fixed that issue. Concrete's been a big issue, and we're addressing that right now with, uh, this tr Timmy's little trade route. We're gonna call it tr Timmy's trade route. That's what it's called now. This is, th this is Timmy's trade route. We're fixing that. So, thank you very much. I appreciate you guys. Like the video if you like it. You can subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, and Timmy is just gonna go, I, I think, honestly, I don't wanna just put this stuff, like... I guess here. We have another drone hub now. That's a thing. 
So I gave in, built it. Hope you're satisfied. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.